Today is the day. Welcome to Wroclaw. Miło cię widzieć we Wrocławiu. Historical heart of Poland. Just a beautiful city with lots of little creatures hidden here and there waiting to be discovered. Why Wroclaw is one of the most beautiful cities of Poland. This and more. Subscribe. You won't miss this way new travels around the world. Are you looking for awesome weekend travel? Or you just need to know your next destination? Wroclaw is your city. 100% yes to travel there. It was founded in 1000. It's located on the territory or historical region of Silesia. If you've been on this channel, you know lots of cities we've been there. Silesia is huge and I hope one day I will be able to travel all over Silesia. The days when it was founded, Wroclaw was part of Czech Republic, Prussia, Germany and Poland. Because of this, the city has an architecture of mixed areas, times and from different countries. In addition, you may walk by or ride by 112 bridges, numerous parks, Easy to walk by streets and squares are waiting for you. Walking by foot, traveling by car, Wroclaw is the best destination. Let's start explore the places where you in future make the best photos. Those are the places that are part of 48 hours itinerary in Wroclaw. Sunitsky Park is a natural area that was founded in 18th century. At first it was a village. In the 19th century, a part of the park was built out by military to improve the territories. Today the area of the park is 100 hectares. And you may probably need a lot of time to walk by foot all over there. So, this is the perfect spot for hiking. And there you may find the beautiful church of St. John of Nepomuk, which was built around 16th century and still is there.
This sculpture really impressed me and this is so different to everything you may see not only in Poland but everywhere. This sculpture is really different and it's mind-blowing and you will be different after seeing it with your eyes. It's really different from photos and videos and this is a sculptural group which is called Transition 1977-2005. You may have heard that there was protest and political crisis in 1981 and the monument, which wasn't first made with metal things, was located first in Warsaw. What does this mean? This is all about people. And you see two parts that live and come out of the ground as if convene the essence of the entire revolution and victory in it. And this was the place where the most active demonstrations in Poland were held. If you have time, book an evening in this beautiful place if you don't have the time, just walk by this is most impressive building and it's really huge. On the video, on the photos, you don't get it. And this is National Music Forum. This is a building in modern style and is located on the Freedom Square. The style of this building is Art Nouveau and there is a recording studio, office space, rehearsal rooms, library, conference rooms, concert halls, everything that a good artist needs. What's really important to know about Poland is churches. They are everywhere and all of them are unique. And if you have time, just go inside, sit on the bench and embrace the atmosphere. You will be impressed each and every time. And we are heading to Church of St. Elizabeth. It is old, it comes from 14th century and the main attraction is 91 meter tower with a bell and you may see this tower from lots of locations in Wroclaw and then you know where the city center is. And it was even higher before the earthquake in the 15th century, it was 103 meters. And if you have courage to climb by foot on stairs to the top, you'll see the incredible view on the city and Sudeten mountains. The Church of Mary Magdalene. This is too extremely old. It comes from 11th, 13th century. It was destroyed, of course. But the style of this church is different. It's Gothic. It's made of brick. It was destroyed during World War II and was luckily restored. And now we can see and embrace the beauty of this building. Near the church of St. Elizabeth, you see two buildings that are no like other. On the photos, they usually look like they are part of a fairy tale that was written for kids. And in reality, it's even more gorgeous. Houses of Yas and Malgas. The analogue is the German work 
of the brothers Krim, with the main characters Hansel and Gretel. The buildings form an angle, which is smoothed by the arch that opens the way to the cathedral. There used to live merchants, and at the moment you may find some galleries and see great art pieces there. The main square will not be complete without the city hall. And on the central square, on Roslav, there is a city hall. The greatest part of it is astronomical clock, which comes from 16th century. And the whole building was built in the 13th century. Not only this building looks amazing, also you may find a museum inside. And the oldest in Europe, Pivnica Svidnitska. The travel to Wroclaw will not be completed without observing all of the gnomes. These creatures are a significant part of everyday life from everyone who lives in Wroclaw, who is visiting Wroclaw, and of everyone who really loves this city. If you really want to find all of the spots where all of the gnomes are, you will really need to form a map and take pictures of each and every gnome. And the thing is that with years the amount is only rising. So who knows how many gnomes are today? Check the special map and if you have time, just try to find as many gnomes as possible. You will find them in the most unexpected places. They are really fun to observe and to find. And it's really awesome that someone, even not alive, is always waiting for you there in Wroclaw. What could be a bad excuse to make another hundreds of photos? If you love Rod's love or traveling to Poland, don't forget to subscribe and join me to new travels around the world. I hope you love Rod's love as much as I do. And in future videos, we will discover this city even more because this is not even a third of all of the things that could be found in this beautiful and old city. Worthy to come back, isn't it? As of now, see you soon in new videos. Bye!